Hi, Johannes. Thanks so much for joining us for this uh, new 2020. We actually fought the new season and 2020 is soon in the past. So we go 10 out of 10. Maybe you could think sprint. I can see it more as a relay because 10 questions and maybe a couple spare bullets. Okay. So if you're ready, we can get started. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so since it's 10 out of 10, we take a reference from your last sprint. You got 10 out of 10. You skied the fastest of everyone. Do you see yourself stronger at the range or on the tracks? Uh, for now, I think uh, if you have the fastest uh, track time, then uh, that's more um, easy to do the mats on. Uh, I know I still can be fast in the next race, but on the shooting range, it can change from day to day. And uh, next uh, time, maybe uh, I am missing those targets and uh, my competitors are shooting clean. So I need to manage uh, a good focus uh, mostly on the shooting range, because I know my skiing is quite strong. Now, two titles in the back, you're already in yellow, so you obviously won the third one. Who do you see as the main rivals for you? Uh, I think my main rivals will be my brother Tariai. Uh, Chaclet looks uh, already strong. Uh, Quentin missed some speed in the first two laps, but I know the season is long and uh, he will definitely uh, Come back. He is uh, even though his skiing was not uh, perfect. He shot clean every time and still top six in uh, both days. So he looks strong. Now I will leave biathlon aside a little bit. I know you love football. Who's your favorite football player? <laughs> My favorite player. I think. Uh, I think it's uh, Ronaldo. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is uh, such a. Fantastic athlete, not only a football player, you know, but he looks uh, really well uh, trained uh, and has a body I think every athlete uh, wants to have. <laughs> and how about uh, Holland from your country? Do you think he can become as good as Ronaldo? Uh, I think uh, they are two different uh, types of footballers uh, and for sure uh, Holland is, uh, is the perfect goal getter in every team and we, as Norwegians, we, uh, <laughs> we have now many fantastic footballers. Uh, so it's no, not only uh, winter sports that are popular in Norway anymore. Actually, is there any sport Norwegians are not good at? Because it seems like whatever you pick up, you're good. Yeah, it's, it was uh, the football. Uh, but now we have Holland and Ødegård playing in Real Madrid. And Holland for sure looks like uh, the new big star of football and uh, it's really uh, amazing to think that he is Norwegian and that we can take part in uh, his life is uh, uh, incredible. Now a little bit about your brother. In an interview a couple of years ago you said you would not be here if it wasn't for him. Can you tell us something more about that? Yeah, it came all from the start of my career. Um, I did not know about biathlon before uh, he started this. Uh, I would not have started myself if he did not uh, start at his age. Um, so already from there you can say I uh, took after him and after uh, my uh, 15th birthday um, I still uh, took a new choice to follow him even further. and. Uh, that was only because I've seen his results and I saw his top level was reaching very close to the best in the world. And for me at that age, I was still uh, beating his record. So I thought, OK, let's give it a try. <laughs> now let's bring a little family drama. Is there anything annoying about Tarje? Um He is quite good at everything, uh, which means that he, he almost wins everything we do. And, uh, he knows it himself, so that's why he tries to challenge me on anything, because he, he knows that most of the times he will uh, end up winning, and that's why he is challenging all the time. So biathlon is a little revenge for you. <laughs> yes, but there we have respect for each other, so then uh, we don't challenge each other uh, at the same level as in other games. Uh, but I wish we could, because then uh, the results would uh, look better for me. <laughs> And about the biathlon tour, have you ever had a crush on any biathlete? A crush? Yes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> you always have a crush, either if the, it's, it's um, 
because someone are looking nice from the junior age and uh, uh, coming into the Olymp Youth Olympic Games as uh, 17, uh, you felt like a big star uh, coming out of Norway to compete internationally. And for sure at that age, you, you're not only thinking about biathlon. <laughs> um, and now, you know, it's more like uh, a crush uh, for some girls that are really good at uh, what they are doing. Uh, especially the shooting of uh, Dorothea Wierer is something I think everyone is dreaming about. And staying in biathlon, if you can choose three fellow biathletes to spend a lockdown with, who would you choose? Uh, I would choose, uh, of course, my brother, because you always need some uh, family uh, <laughs> in the lockdown. It's important with family. Uh, I would also choose um, yeah, biathletes, you said. OK, I should do some. Uh, I'll bring Virer, because she is uh, such uh, yeah happy uh, and funny girl, I think. Um, and for the last part, I think uh, I'd have to bring, um, uh, I don't know, but uh, uh, that's a good question. Maybe the fans of Biathlon has to, uh, to write in the comment who that should <laughs> yes, be. Yes, let's have them commenting with the third <laughs> one. And uh, now top three places to visit in Norway. Uh, my hometown Strin, of course. Uh, I not only say that because I'm from there, but it's actually a very nice place and it's one of the most popular places to go in Norway for tourists. We have uh, beautiful glaciers and our fjords are uh, very nice looking, uh, beautiful nature. Uh, and I think our capital, Oslo, is quite uh, nice. You have a lot of uh, opportunities. Uh, it's close to the airport and uh, the streets are really clean and uh, it's, uh, you will get a good feeling coming here. That's true. Third one? Uh, I'm bad at the third <laughs> ones. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, then I have to say Kungsvinger. This is the place I will move in uh, one year. It will be uh, my uh, end destination. So. So I'm now building a, cabin, no, a house there, so uh, I have to uh, imagine that Kongsvinger uh, can be the best out of those three. Well, thanks so much. You said Oslo, it's where the season will finish, but we are still at the start. So I think I'll let you go do some training and uh, yeah, see you around. See you around. Thanks, <laughs> thanks so much. For, thanks for the 10 of 10. <laughs>